What if I told you someone found a way to create over 30 organizations on walk -a time all with the exact same name? That's exactly what happened in a real-world vulnerability report, and today, I'll break it down for you. Let's talk about how a race condition exposed Waka Time's backend logic and why it matters. The vulnerability was discovered and reported by a researcher named Control underscore Cypher. It centers around the race condition in Waka Time's organization creation logic. Despite the UI enforcing unique names, preventing you from making two orgs in the same name, an attacker was able to bypass this restriction entirely. Here's the idea. You go to create an organization and name it. Let's say Control2. Normally, the server checks if that name already exists and blocks you. But if you send multiple identical requests at the exact same time, the backend can get confused. That's a race condition. Two or more requests hit the server simultaneously, and they pass the uniqueness check before the database has locked in the first one. As a result, multiple organizations with the same name get created. The researcher used Burp Suite to intercept and duplicate the organization's creation request. By sending a flood of post requests at the same moment, they tricked the backend into creating more than 30 orgs with the same name. Despite the front end saying, you already have an organization with this name, the server had already created all of them. Now, you might be thinking, okay, weird glitch. But is it serious? The answer is yes. Here's why. Data integrity. Duplicate org names break database assumptions. Authorization confusion. Permissions tied to organization names might overlap or conflict. Billing issues. Systems might double charge or misattribute data. Exploitation. Attackers could use this to bypass limits or impersonate orgs. This report is a textbook example of how race conditions can quietly exist in real applications. They're tricky to catch, but they can cause chaos if left unfixed. So shout out to Control Cypher for responsibly disclosing it. If you found this breakdown helpful, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll keep bringing you real world cybersecurity cases with zero flaws.